For the past 20 years, Ethiopia has hosted those fleeing violence in neighboring Somalia. A program of voluntary repatriation between 1997 and 2005 meant that camps like Orba near Jijiga were shut down. But renewed violence in Somalia has reversed that process. The numbers seeking protection in Ethiopia has topped 30,000. There are now three new camps and Orbar is once again hosting refugees. <laughs> Ali Abdi Abdullah fled Somalia with his wife and five children in April 2006. <laughs> Ali's converted his hut into a neighborhood corner shop. He's lucky to earn a little extra cash and keep busy. Many of the other refugees have no such distractions to take their minds off what has happened to them and their country. Uh, the uh, Somali refugees uh, arrive uh, from uh, uh, south and central Somalia, arrive here with uh, post-trauma and uh, with uh, a lot of mental and psychological uh, uh, stress and they are not uh, in, a, in a stable uh, condition. They don't arrive any properties of, uh, with them, but they came here only with the children and, and, and families, particularly mothers and children is uh, arriving here. Uh, most of the people are idle. They are not, I mean, busy uh, doing any, any, any things in the camp, uh, as the vocational training is, is very limited. Vocational training for adults may be limited, but for the 45% of the camp's population who are children, a new school opened up in September last year. Lesson 19. Lesson 19. Lessons include maths, natural science, Somali language, and today, English. The school has just eight teachers for over 500 students. There's no running water, toilets, or cooking facilities in any language. Resources here are being stretched to the limit. 14. There's more building elsewhere in the camp as refugees construct solid huts to live in. They will be a welcome respite from the ramshackle existence they've endured up to now but the refugees still lack many essentials. I'm <laughs> I'm
Previously, Ethiopia reduced refugee numbers with a program of voluntary repatriation. Ask refugees now if they would willingly go home, and the majority say they're still too frightened. With the pullout of Ethiopian troops, the situation in Somalia will likely remain highly volatile. It's possible these camps could be receiving more refugees in the days to come.